Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to see that how can we handle the multiple conditions using the if else statements. In the previous video, we handled one condition that was if the uh, range or the value of a cell was less than 30, then we print it as fail, but when it was uh, more than 30 or 30 then we printed pass so that was only one condition which we handled but that was not our goal our goal was to meet this criteria given to us so uh, in today's video we are going to see that how can we actually handle this criteria now to handle this criteria we have to use these multiple conditions that is first condition if is if the scores are less than 30 then if the scores are less than 50 and so on so uh, this is the criteria that we need to handle so for this purpose we have to use multiple conditions instead of one condition and when we are using multiple conditions we have to use the if else if else statements that is not just a single if else statement but a combination of the if else statements so that statements are actually given a different name which is known as if else if else statements this is what we are going to use in today's video and see that how can we actually uh, create the result based upon the criteria given to us so let's start so this is our code from the previous video and let us just make some changes to it only uh, this was if else condition now when you are using the if else if else statements then what happens is uh, after this if statement you got to write the else if statement okay so after this statement you have to write the else if statement and since it is an else if statement so you need to provide a condition to it here as well so the condition that we are going to provide is that if the value or the scores is less than 50 then we want the uh, value in the corresponding b column to be third division so it's going to be like this if range a3 dot value is less than 50 then okay um it's going to be like this okay and uh, then what we want is uh, the value of range b3 i'm just going to copy this from here and paste it here it's going to be third division so let's just write here okay so this is the else if statement what is the else statement you simply write the else statement and then indent it and then write the if statement and then you gotta again indent this statement okay so this is the else if statement that you need to write and on writing this statement you would be able to get um, to use actually the multiple conditions for yourself okay uh, so this is one method now if in this case if you want to write the else statement again then what happens is the else statement that you're writing just now would be the um else statement of this if block okay so for that purpose what you gotta do is actually we can just remove this right now you have to just uh, make sure it is over here and then write the else statement then put a tab and then write the if statement which is range a3 actually we can just copy this two statements because we are going to actually repeat them again and again so we are just going to copy it and paste it and now instead of 50 what i'm going to do is 70 and then indent the range value and then the division is going to be second division similarly um after this you got to write the else statement again and then uh, indent it and paste it again indent it now it is going to be for 90 and then it's going to be the first division 
and this is the final else part in this case it's going to be actually uh, incredible okay so let's just clear up this code it's going to be incredible that's according to a criteria okay so that's what we have written and uh, now if you take a look at it closely then how many if statements have you used you have used one if statement two three and four if statements that means the end if that you have written must be four times must be there four times so you have to write this end if four times because there are four if statements so you got to end the if uh, four times itself okay so just copy paste it and indent it as well to make sure that uh, your code is well read so these are the four end if statements as well now if we just try to run this code then what happens uh, for 78 we must get first division okay uh, actually we used for a3 that's why we have got third division because it matches with this criteria but if instead of a3 we just try to use um, say a2 so we have to uh, actually change it for every place over here okay like this and okay now if we try to run it but i'm going to run it uh, using the step into function so that we are able to understand it's working so let's start first of all this statement is encountered but it evaluates to false so our control goes to the else part in the else part it encounters another if condition it again evaluates to be false so it again goes to the else part in the else part again this condition is encountered again it evaluates to false so it goes to the else part again in the else part there is another if condition encountered so it tries to execute it but again it executes to be false so um actually uh, this condition is true that uh, yes 78 is less than 90 so this statement that is range b2 dot value is first division would be executed so if we again press f8 then we get uh, the result as first division over here and after this this end of statement is encountered this this and this these four end of statements are encountered and finally the end sub is encountered so that is how the working of the else if else if else statements is done but uh, these if else if else statements are actually nested statements okay this is an example of nested statements now what are the nested statements the uh, statements that are associated with one another that is there is a container statement if this is a container statement then this is a containing statement means this statement is inside this statement so these are known as the nested if statements this is one way of executing it uh, however if you want to skip the nested if else statements then what you can do is simply just write the else if without any kind of space over here so what happens when you do that is uh, like this okay you can simply write it like this okay so if you just try to omit a space um, between uh, else and if then there would be these if else if statements and uh, you need not write these end ifs only one end if will do the trick it would do the work okay so this is a much cleaner piece of code that is um, you get all these statements over here let's just uh, give spaces over here so you are able to understand it in a better way uh, all these statements only one else part and only one else if end of statement so let's try to uh, run it for a11 let's just change a11 over here so this is actually a more preferred way because the code is cleaner you gotta write less code it's easier to understand uh, but it's totally up to you whatever piece of code you want to write because both are correct um, you can either write the nested if statements or uh, if you want you can write this statement as well 
so if we just try to run it then we get the answer as incredible all the conditions evaluates to false so we get to the final else part where the output is incredible and we get the answer as incredible so that is how you can actually uh, match these different conditions using the if else if statements there are two ways for that either the nested statements or the simple else if statements so that's how you can do that and we have uh, i have actually shown you do it for three cells only so if you want you can just copy it for multiple cells it's going to be the same thing but i'm not going to show you because it's um, a redundant process so that's all for the video and thanks for watching